Hello, 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 guys. Um, it's Kim from YourChicGeek.com, and um, I make tech and digital marketing easy for businesses and for bloggers. So I want to welcome you to this quick little video where I'm going to be talking about five types of designs you can create with Canva that you probably did not know you could. Uh, Canva is hands down one of my favorite, favorite uh, design tools, and it's um, something that I use all of the time to create uh, just different stuff <laughs> for my brand, really. And um, so I just wanted to kind of go through five different types of designs you can create and, um, you know, just kind of give you guys some ideas of things that you can do that you probably, again, weren't aware that you could, just to kind of get your creative juices flowing, okay? Um, if you want to learn more about me, you can definitely head over to yourchicgeek.com to check out uh, my blog or my um, website. To find out more information about me and if you're interested in taking part in a free six day mini course that I um, have that I'm offering you can definitely take part in that by visiting the link that is shown on this on the bottom of this slide um, it says a uh, bit dot Lee backslash Y C G design and again that's bit dot Lee backslash YCG design and so whenever you go to that link it's just going to take you directly to the um, to the course information where you can enroll if you want to to kind of uh, get a, some more tips on designing uh, pro graphics for your business and your brand okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pop off uh, take my screen off so we can just get into this little presentation real fast and just kind of show you some of the designs you can create okay so here we go all right, so design number one is going to be a workbook. Um, this is one of probably my favorite, favorite, favorite um, things that I love to create with Canva. And a lot of people don't know that you can create workbooks with Canva, but you absolutely can. Now, obviously, workbooks are very popular, especially if you are a course creator. Um, even if you just have a blog or a website that you want to sell workbooks from for profit, you can definitely use Canva to create your workbooks. And then also, um, if you have an email list, which I hope you do, you can actually design workbooks using Canva to give them away uh, to your to people as they subscribe to your email list. So just um, one example of a type of design that you can create with Canva. This is an example of one of the workbooks that I created. It's a sort of like a champ workbook. And I think it's about 30 something pages or, or, or something around there. I know with Canva, you can only go up to 30 pages, but still it's a phenomenal tool for creating workbooks. So I just wanted to give you an example and show you that. So design number two is going to be worksheets. So worksheets are simply, a workbook is simply worksheets combined. That's just the way I look at it. It's multiple worksheets that uh, are combined into one book. So for instance, if you wanted to just create a simple worksheet, maybe to use it as some sort of cheat sheet or to give it away again to your students who enroll in courses that you create or to give a um, some worksheets away from your blog, for people that um, subscribed or opt into your email list, then Canva can be used for that as well. So um, again, it's just just goes to kind of show you the power of Canva. Once you just really get creative, and you can just really use it for a lot of different things. So this is an example of a worksheet that you could possibly you know create. Okay, design number three is a media kit. Now, I know the majority of folks that use and create media kits that they are used to kind of give an overview of your blog, uh, the traffic numbers, the social media following that you have, and etc. But I use my media kit or my kit on my blog to give away to talk about some of the services that I offer because I do offer web design and blog design services to uh, two folks that are interested in taking me up on that or working with me on that. And so when I designed this kit, I designed it with that in mind. I wanted to just kind of showcase some of the services that I provide, some of the work that I've done, and again, just give people a little glimpse into some of the, you know, some of the services and the um, the things that I offer from my brand. So again, if you're a blogger and you want to kind of give people um, a little overview or a top level view of what your blog is all about, what kind of numbers you're getting as far as traffic goes, uh, what kind of social media following you have, then you can create or you can use Canva to create a media kit that is going to show people 
or give people that information. So again, it's just another type of design that you can create with Canva, okay? Uh, design number four is email opt-ins. Now, I just kind of brushed over this a little bit, but you know, an email opt-in is also known as a lead magnet, okay? It's also known as a, a lead magnet. And so um, lead magnets are simply, uh, they're incentives and they are some kind of free resource that you give away to visitors in exchange for their contact information in order for them to opt in to your email list, okay? So it's just an incentive that you give people to help them or to encourage them to opt into your email list. That's what this is. And so I use Canva to create every last lead magnet or AKA email opt-in that I have on my website. I'm not kidding. I use it for everything. And it's really simple. It's really simple. So if you're thinking that, you know what, hey, I want to design something like a checklist, like what you see here. This is actually one of the checklists that I designed in Canva that I give away from my blog. So if I want to design this checklist and give it away, I can just use Canva to do that, okay? And so this is just an example of something that you could crank out very easily and it's not going to take you a lot of time. So that's one example of um, something else that you can design with Canva and uh, it makes it really easy to do so. And then design number five is promo graphics. Okay, promo graphics. So I do a lot of promo graphics for um, different events and different webinars that I put on. Um, anytime that I'm coming out maybe with a new course or etc. I go and crank out a graphic for that to promote that specific uh, thing that I'm promoting in Canva. And it really is super easy. Again, it's very, very easy and it does not take me a long time to do it. So this is just an example of a graphic that I created, I think, well, last year, as you can see, on a free workshop that I was doing on how to create graphics. What do you know with Canva? <laughs> and so I use uh, Canva to create these graphics and I just distributed them across the web. And it was very easy to do. It didn't take me a long time to do it. And so again, Canva is really a phenomenal tool and it can be used for a lot of different things, all right? So again, I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, some of the things that you could do with Canva that you probably didn't know. And uh, just to get your creative juices flowing and all of that good stuff. So I really hope that you enjoyed uh, some of the examples that I presented to you. And again, if you are interested and you want to learn more about designing your own professional graphics, using Canva, then I do have a free six-day e-course that you can partake in. So if you want to get access to that e-course, again, just go to bit.ly backslash YCG design. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you around. Cheers.